Crazy Life Scotland, it's Fiona here and today I've got a little haul video for you. I was out and about in Clydebank yesterday with Abby and I got a few bits from Poundland and one below that I'm going to show you just now. Sorry I've got Hugo here in case you wonder what I'm doing. And um, I, Abby got a whole load of stuff, she spent almost £100 in Primark. So once I've finished this we will show you what Abby got and she's going to do a wee try on for you. So let's get straight into it. I have got the receipts so I'll give you the prices. So first of all I went into one below because I was looking specifically for the string lights that they do. I got these the last time I was in one below and Granny Annie nabbed them because she said that ideal for her Christmas boxes that she makes for putting inside so that they light up. They look like sort of gift boxes. In fact, she's got one here. Hold on, I'll show you. She's given me this one for a raffle for the weekend. So I'll just show you. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Look at the lid. And the lights go inside it. There's three. There's like the small, medium and large. And they can either sit side by side or she can do them stacking as well. And you put the lights inside them and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So she makes and sells these. And these lights were ideal for her because they're like wire. So you can straighten them out and they stay where you want them. Whereas I, so I got 10 of these. These were a pound each. So I got 10 of them. And I also got 10 these come in boxes like that and I also got 10 which come in boxes like this there's 25 on these but 20 on the other but these ones are floppier they sort of if you leave them to their own devices they'll just all flop in the bottom which is still nice but she prefers the wiry ones but they only had 10 of them and she wanted 20 so I got 10 of each and um, she can work with them so if you're looking for string lights for anything, One Below is the place to go. They're brilliant. They've got loads as well. They've got like the cork type that goes in bottles as well. They've got loads of different ones. So, um, yeah, 20 sets of lights all together. So that was £20 straight off. I also got, I was looking for more frames, like this one, which was a Mother's Day frame, but as you can see, I've turned it into a Star Wars themed one. They didn't have any like that, unfortunately, because I really like them, but they did have more like that. So I thought I've, I've got a couple of them and it's meant to fit five photos, but I still might be able to do something similar um, with either like perler beads or just papers or little toy things, whatever, um, different types. So I got two of these, I'm pretty sure these were a pound. Oh no, these were £1.25, but it's still a really good deal, whatever you do with them. I mean, I love the, the quirkiness of the shapes of it. So even if it is just photos that go in there, it's really nice. So yeah, two of them, £1.25 each. And I got a couple of little figures so that I could try to make something similar to the Star Wars one. I got a Minecraft Earth figure and it's one of the wee dolphins. I think that is so cute. Look at that, it's so cute. I don't know whether it'll go in there or not. It might be too big. It was only a pound. So even if it doesn't fit in that frame, it will still be really good um, for doing something with because I've got that stall coming up in May, which is mostly for like teens and tweens. And similarly, I got this Fortnite figure. Wait till I open it. You get six, there's 16 to collect and they're actually key rings, but I don't know whether I'll use it as a key ring or use it in one of those frames. I'll wait and see. If I use it in one of the frames, I will repurpose the key ring part of it. I could quite easily take that little, um, the little hook out of there. And I've got no idea of what character that is. I just know that the kids love Fortnite or Brooke does anyway. And yeah, so there's a whole load that you can collect. This is series three apparently. And this was two pounds for that. And it is a keychain, which is pretty good actually. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do something with one of the frames. So have a Fortnite themed one and a Minecraft themed one. 
We'll see how that goes. That's pretty much. Oh no, I did get this as well. I really like this. It's uh, Mickey, the true original. So it's 90 years of Mickey Mouse and it's little metal die cast um, figures. So you've got a mini and a Mickey at the top. You've got the cow, I can't remember the cow's name. And you've got them, I don't know who they are either. <laughs> but again, I thought doing like a Mickey Mouse um, type version of the frames, these might be quite good for. And if not, I could do them, I could use them for something else. So yeah, that's them all there. And they're really cute, they are metal. Yeah, they were £2 for that, so that's not bad actually, because you're getting one, two, three, four, five metal die cast figures for £2, which is really quite good. I also got some Johnson's earbuds, cotton buds again, and again not for cleaning the inside of my ears, but I got my ears pierced when I was out yesterday, so it's for cleaning round about the earrings with the saline solution. Uh, just to keep them nice and clean and sterile and infection free. So I've got a pack of them, they were a pound as well I believe. All I can see in here is lights. <laughs> Apart from that, all I got was Abby picked up a mint aero for herself, that was a pound as well, so that's Abby's. I picked up a Raisin and Biscuit Yorkie duo for Jack because he loves Raisin and Biscuit Yorkie and you don't get them everywhere now so when I saw it I was like oh I need to get that for Jack that was 69 pence and for myself oh I saw the limited edition fried strawberry cream you know what I'm like with my fruity flavoured chocolate and I love a fried strawberry cream I used to love I know I got everybody going with this when I spoke about it before the fries five centres you remember they had five different flavoured creams in them. There was strawberry, orange, lime, was it coconut or vanilla? And maybe raspberry, I can't remember, but there was five, lemon maybe. There was five different flavours in the one prize bar and I really wish they would bring them back. I want to start a campaign, I forgot about that actually. I really must get onto that. <laughs> so that was everything that I got from One Below. Now on to Poundland. Again, I'll give you prices. I've been loving Wopsits for some reason. I don't know why. I go through phases. I'm more a sweet person than a savoury person. But when I'm in the mood for crisps, it's usually things like Wopsits that I go for. And I had a big bag of the giant Wopsits the other day, the cheesy ones, and they were brilliant. But I couldn't see them when I was out and about yesterday. So this is a big sharing bag, which won't be shared with anybody except me. Maybe the dogs. And it's just the normal size Wopsits, but it's a big bag. And that was a pound. Abby saw these, Abby loves the Rice Krispie Squares, that's the chocolatey ones, delightfully chocolatey, you get eight bars in there and that was £2 for the eight pack. Now, I had got myself a packet of the white Reese's eggs when they were out and I was desperate to eat them and I thought I'm going to, it was a three, it was like a king size thing, there was three in the pack and I thought I'm going to have one a day, I'm going to savour them, really enjoy them, so I had one went back the next day to get my other one and Jack had eaten one of them. So I only got two out of the three and it wouldn't bother me if he'd said is it okay if I have that or if he told me I had one of your eggs. But see when you're expecting them to be there and they're not, oh, drives me nuts. So when we were out I'm like I need to get more Reese's because I really really enjoyed it. So Abby picked up this one and to be honest, if I'd realised it was £3, she wouldn't have got it. <laughs> Where it was on the shelf, it had said £2, but it was actually £3. And it's the Reese's Peanut Butter Miniatures Share Bag, and it is the little chocolate peanut butter cups. 300 grams, but for £3, I just think it's really quite expensive. So I might nab some of them. And we also, I picked up the Reese's snack size, so you get five of the little snack size ones in there. And they're individually wrapped, which is quite good as well. And they were a pound, I think. Yeah, it was a pound for the five of them. Picked up these as well. So this is the same, but it's the white one. Not quite the same as the egg, because an egg is an egg, and it's cute. But never mind, it's still the white one, and you get three, four of the peanut butter wrapped in white chocolate. These were a pound each, so I got one and Abby got one. There was one that was milk chocolate and one that was white chocolate. I've been loving the dairy milk hot cross bun 
and I realised obviously it's a limited edition so I picked up a couple of these while I saw them because they won't last long and I really do like them so they were a pound each and I got two of them they're really nice it's basically it's just dairy milk chocolate with raisins and a cinnamon crunch oh, it's so tasty obviously I can't get the gingerbread chocolate digesters anymore I'm so hoping they bring them back out at Christmas this year but I did pick up a pack of the strawberry cheesecake digesters because I do quite like these as well and I think it was a pound for them it's, yeah it was a pound for them it's not the big pack it's a 243 gram one but they're a pound in like as done things as well so I was quite happy to get that what I did notice was the big ones of the normal chocolate digestives, the double pack was two pounds, it no, yeah, two pounds in one below and pound land for the double pack. But then when we went into B&M, it was one ninety nine, so you were saving a penny in B&M. There you go. <laughs> don't say I'm not good to you. I, I don't know why, I've been right in the mood for garlic meal recently. I really love the... Domino's garlic dip that you get with their pizza but obviously you can only get it at Domino's it doesn't taste the same any other garlic meal doesn't taste the same but when I saw the Crucials one I thought oh I'm going to get that because I have got a little garlic pizza bread there and I think it will be perfect to dip the crusts in that was a pound again the Crucials if you've never heard of them before they're really good calorie wise and fat wise if you're on a diet so for 100 grams, it's 418 calories. It doesn't say what it is a tablespoon, but I know it is quite low on like Slim and World and things like that. And the last food item that I got from Poundland was actually Abby's. She picked up the Maryland cookies. It was 50 pence for that, for the 230 gram um, pack. Can't remember that word for some reason. So yeah, can you tell Abby was hungry at this point? We hadn't been for our buffy at Buffy by that point so Abby was hungry so it was like picking up all the food and the other wee bits that I got and I couldn't resist it I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them but I'm going to do something crafty with them and they had a whole section it was meant to be like an outdoor garden -y type thing and it's meant to be like a secret fairy garden type thing so I got some bits from there so there's this it's all um, I don't know it feels like clay or something what is it? I don't know what it's made of. The Hidden Garden, that's what it is. So this has got Daisy Trail, Magical Forest and Enchanted Bridge, a little wood sign. I've got a little rose bush type thing to go in it. These were all a pound each. A little toad house, mushroom house, toadstool house. You know what I mean. <laughs> Does it say what it's made of? I think it's, it's not ceramic, is it clay? I don't know, the writing's too wee. I think it's maybe clay but that's really cute. The little arch, rose bush arch. Yeah, it says there, look, hidden garden. That's the collection. And the final thing that goes with that collection, and it was the last thing in my haul I love. Look, it's a little swing. Wait, do I take this off? It's a little swing with a little gnome on it. Oh, how gorgeous is she? So I'm going to do some kind of crafty scene with it. I don't know if I'll use a shadow box or I might create like a sort of astroturf grass area. I don't know yet, but you know what I'm like. I see things like that and it gets my creative juices flowing. So yeah, I'll need to really think about what I'm going to do with them. So that is everything that I got from Poundland. So that you've seen what I got. And next I'm going to show you what Abby got from Primark and she's going to try stuff on for you. Right, here's Abby and Molly to do the Primark haul. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to show us first? Well, these are the things that she bought for me. So Mum decided that she felt left out because I like Stitch. So she decided she liked Bumper now. Yes, I wanted to collect a character and I had... To Remember at the start I said I like Thumper but you don't get much stuff but they actually had more so, so I decided to two, collect Thumper. So there's this pyjama top but she... I'll probably wear it as a t-shirt to be fair. And then... So how much is the top? The top was... It was £7 but we got it for £4. Okay and it says XL on the hanger but it's actually a large. It's a size yeah, it's a large. 14 to 16 I think. And that's... <laughs> And 
then we got Just this pyjama set for oh. eight pounds. Eight pounds and that is what it looks like. It would be perfect for the summer. <laughs> I got these pyjama trousers. These are so cute. I love the button detail of the top of them. And they're £8 as well. They're really cute. They're nice and fitted. Yes. Excellent. What and size were they? It's, no, these were small. Small. Cool. Um, and then I've bought like a bunch of other stuff that I'm not trying on. So I'll show you them before I try the rest on. Okay. Uh, I bought boxers because boxers are really comfy. Uh, I just wear like shorts. I've got the ones under them. Look how cute they are. Look at the peaches. So these are from the ma ma the, the, men's the men's section. They're a small one there, were they extra small? These are small, small or extra small. Wait, I don't know. Small. A small and so this three pack of boxers were seven pound. Look how gorgeous are they? Bright pink with bananas. And plums! Oh no, it's not, it's an aubergine. Yeah. Did, did you not get the whole yeah, theme? Yeah, but I thought I was thinking plums as in oh, right, okay. plums. But no, it's an aubergine. <laughs> I bought three pairs of leggings because they disappeared. Yes, leggings in this house are a bit like socks and teaspoons. Yeah, they go into the washing and then never appear. And is it just plain black leggings? Yeah, extra And small. they were extra small, £2.50 £2 £2 each. each. Hold up a pair to let them see. There's bad leggings. Just plain black leggings and you use them for work, don't you? Um, I've got a teddy. I took the tag off it last How night. cute. Yes, Abby got everything stitched. He was £5. £5. Hey, <laughs> a new duvet cover. Duvet cover set. It's a double and it's £18. And it's a stitch one. How gorgeous. <laughs> you like it, pups? Yeah, the pups are like, yes, we will lie on that. It's not edible. This dog chews everything. Look at him. Why? <laughs> <laughs> You're a dad puppy. Hey, Molly. I bought this little set, but because... You go move. <laughs> Oi. Come on, man. Move. It's a typical, typical man sniffing the underwear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, because of like the size I had to get for the top part, these are really big and just not my thing. So, so she's given me the pants. So mum can have them. They were five pounds. Five pounds for the set? Yes. And that was a large for yeah. the boobies. Yes. And Wella. Then, you go to Primark, you need to get... Yes, you can't go to Primark without thongs. They're gorgeous colours, aren't they? £3. <laughs> For doing her makeup. Oh. <laughs> yes, you do look sweet. That's not normal. How much was that? That was £2.50. And then along with that, this was £3.50 and it's a hairbrush. It's got stitch in the back of it. <laughs> that is just too cute. That is very cute. Yes. And then... Hugo, leave my stuff Hugo. alone. Oi. Then I got an AirPods case, which is £3. Right, let's see the AirPods case. Ooh. Ooh. So it's stitch. Is it a shaker one? Yeah, and then you can obviously like... Uh, put the lid on and then let's see. I can't put it on it. That goes on the top part. It's All right, okay. That is really cute. I've got a set of pajamas and I've got a top. So. Okay, okay. And you got pillows as well, didn't you? You got a two pack of pillows. For four pound fifty. Yeah. So there is Abby in the gorgeous short pajamas. It's a lovely. The colour's not showing up very well, but it's a sort of minty green. Yeah. And they were four pound each, eh? The top and the bottoms, I think. Four pound. I think so. I think they were four pound yeah. each. Four pound each, and they're made from recycled plastic, but they're really soft, aren't they? Yeah. Are they as comfy as they yeah, look? Yeah, they are. <laughs> But Abby was saying it's the top's quite see-through, so she's had to put a wee top on under it just for the the camera. But that's lovely. 
Very and nice. There she is with the stitch t shirt. That is absolutely adorable, isn't it? Yeah. How much was that? Six pounds. And that a size medium. Yeah. That is gorgeous. I love the length of it. I know. It's really good. Turn around. Yay! That is really nice. So, tell everybody how much did you spend in total? £96.30 something. Nope, £96.60. So, that was our haul from when we were out in Clyde Bank yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to us in the comments below. And we will see you next time. Thanks everyone. Say bye Abby. Bye. Bye. Thank you.